So there we see uh, I have um, my network on the workspace, which is um, more visible and easier to manipulate or play with. One of the problems with Gephi is it doesn't have an undo button. So there isn't a facility to uh, undo anything you do beforehand. So the, it's not ideal, but my workflow process is really whenever I do um, uh, any major changes, I always do file, save, And then I've got the file um, saved to a position that if I don't like what I've done, ideally we would have had an undo, but you can't. But I just have to go back and um, uh, bring up the file which I've saved. Not not best, uh, not the best uh, way of doing things, but um, it's the only way that um, Gephi can handle that um, particular problem. I know on the forums uh, they have been asking for the undo facility to be uh, a feature within the um, uh, the program and hopefully will appear soon. But in the meantime, that is the uh, the process that uh, I advocate. So we've we've um, put the uh, uh, the data onto the main screen. We've got it to a size which we think is appreciable. We've seen the the use of the um, the mouse select and the uh, the grab. What I want to now, now do is look at the bottom toolbar here. This is where you can start to actually uh, color uh, and label the nodes and edges. The first one on the very left that is the background. Uh, color and essentially it toggles between white and black so if I were to click on that now it goes all black and uh, you can't see anything. If we change the nodes beforehand to to be brighter uh, then th they will appear but uh, for, for this instance I'm going to go back to white so I've clicked on that again uh, and that's the workspace that I will use. There is a facility to uh, take a screenshot I'm not going to do it yet, but if you've got uh, uh, a journal article which requires the uh, the network embedded within a figure within the net, you can take a screenshot and um, uh, add it as a, a PNG later on. So we get we get to the first um, interesting element on the screen, and that is the um, let's get the thing to appear. It's the node labels. When you click on uh, this uh, tool tip or tool uh, that the, the node labels appear but as you can see ooh, uh, I have a screen full of the labels which makes the whole network really difficult to read so what we need to do is to change the font uh, sorry change the yeah, I suppose, yeah the font size of the, the the label and you do that on the right hand side of this um, uh, uh, toolbar so I'm just moving it to the left and we reduce in so uh, another problem that I, I do have is that um, because they're all black, uh, it's difficult to see. Although when you hover over and you see the neighbors, you can just about get an idea. There isn't a facility that allows you to uh, put the labels to one side. Uh, but there is a process that I, I use that uh, allows you to overcome this. And I'll, I'll come on to that uh, in a second. So just bear with me for a few minutes. So that was the, the, the labels. Here we have the uh, the ability to turn on and off the edges. So the edges are on at the moment. If I click on that, the edges go. Click back on, uh, and there we go. The the edges reappear. The the one next to it is uh, changing the edges color. So as it stands, the edges are the same color as the nodes. So if I click on to this, what will happen is it'll change the color of the edges to a, 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 gr a light gray. Um, and there are facilities in which you can actually change the colors of or the color options, but I'll, I'll get to that uh, a bit later. So you have the option of either having it as a different color or the same color as the node. Now, uh, when we go back to the um, spreadsheet and I look at the uh, edges, you remember I had the source target and then I had a label um, associated with an edge. I can make that label appear on the, the, the graph. So all I have to do is uh, click on this uh, tool, uh, show the edge labels, and uh, it appears. The problem is, um, 
again, very much like uh, the process when we introduce the node labels, it's too big and you can't uh, actually um, uh, adjust it. Or can you? Uh, when you look at the options on this toolbar here, there is nothing that allows you to, to change the, um, uh, the font size of the edge labels. But there is a way of doing it, which I'll get onto a little bit later. So what I'm gonna do is just turn that off uh, and leave us with this screen for a second. You, you then have the ability to change the size or the weight of your edge. So if I scroll that to the right, you can see the edges get a bit bigger. Uh, then if I click on uh, this to be the same color, it, it's quite dark. I'll just go back to the, the, the light gray. I've just got to make the edges a little bit um, uh, less weighted. You, you now have um, some interesting options here. This is the size mo size mode, and, and that's, this is for your uh, labels for the nodes. You've got three options. You've got fixed, scale, and node size. So if, if I click on each of those individually, the first of all, the fixed, it disappears, but well, actually it's in the node, so it's still there, but it's uh, as a small item. And that fixed um, option is linked to the node font size scale here. So if I increase that, you can see that goes uh, up and down. The scale um, is linked to the, uh, the, the node as well. Um, and I'll come back to, to that a bit later on. I actually uh, don't see too much value in this uh, at the moment. I, I hardly ever use it. I usually leave it to the fix, which is the um, uh, allows me more control over what the, um, uh, the font size for the node labels are. Now, the, the final option here is the node size. So it, it's given a size relative to the node. So if I put it that, that's the, 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 the node size that um, appears. The, I'm just going to go back to the fix because I prefer it uh, that way. And then I'll just take it. So it's just within the, um, if we look at that, within the, the node itself. The one, uh, the, the tool next to that uh, is the color mode. Uh, and again, you have three options. Um, but if you click on, if I just make the, uh, the nodes a bit bigger, then you can see. If I click on all three, nothing seems to happen. Well, that's because uh, we need to do some more work on the formatting before that will work. Uh, I will have to come back to, to that in a second. You then have the option of changing the font. So uh, let's just change it to the classic Times New Roman. There we go, and make it italic. And you can see that, that the um, font has changed accordingly. We, we touched on this already, the, the size or change of the font. And this uh, can change the color of the font. So you click onto the uh, the black or whatever color it is at the moment, and then you have to hold and then select a color within it. The item next to uh, that is the option of um, including the various um, string labels that have been associated with the node. So I could use the ID, I could use the reference. Actually, the ID is the same as the label, so I'm not going to do that. But uh, uh, the ref code, which I've, I've got in there, if I put that in, you'll see it was red, uh, sorry, 10, blue, 12, green. If I just go back to the spreadsheet and look at my nodes, you can see 12 and it had green. Let's go back and have a look at another one, 11, green. Uh, three red, so three red. That's what that means. I'm just going to go back and turn that off because um, there's too much information. Oops, too much information there at the moment. Uh, and you've got the same with the edges. You could do that for the edges that appear. So I'll just uh, click OK. 